Hey everyone, Dave here. Welcome to Chernobyl again overview. This kind of hitting close to home, maybe not necessarily my generation, but definitely my parents. They were the ones that lived through the power plant catastrophe and its effects on the whole Eastern Europe perimeter. Still to this day, I don't like to eat the end of the bananas that sometimes are a little bit black. I'm not quite sure if this is the direct correlation between the two, but there is a lot of stuff that were affected and I wouldn't say anyone would want to refresh their memory. So Chernobyl again is an adventure puzzle game where taking place in the 3D scanned Chernobyl exclusion zone. You'll be able to explore the environments of the past and delve into its dark ambience all while solving puzzles in order to prevent the catastrophe happening again. For some reason, when you think about the setting, your mind instantly goes to into the radius experience. Honestly, I thought we'd be doing something like that, a la Stalker in VR edition. But no, this is supposed to be an exploratory game, walking around the place that any other living creature abandoned and solve some kind of puzzles to unveil the mystery or whatever. Looking at the screenshots, it looks really snazzy, but then when you compare it to the trailer, it's like a night and day difference, so I'm a little bit worried about the overall quality. What hooked me on is this 3D scan situation going on, cause I'm immediately thinking about photogrammetry, though you're not necessarily able to do that IRL, unless the developers got some kind of a special pass or like <laughs> scaphanders to survive the radiation. So it will be essentially a wild card if it's gonna work. I'm not totally sure as well about the puzzle part. Like I would be all down for a gallery-esque experience to just walk around there because normally you can't. Instead of a generic adventure that doesn't lead anywhere at the end. We shall see, it's not like I will have monsters popping out on every single corner. I suppose it will be a little bit awkward to just solve some mystery instead of killing everyone around there. Let's enter the zone. The old training room for the Bureau's agents comes in handy whenever I need to clear my head or get my bearings. Some gravity mechanics. Seems like things are fully functional. Oh, I so love these theatrics. What is this? The slide projector, a timeless classic. Hell. I mean, I had one as well. Doesn't seem to work. I guess I need to activate it. Oh. The Chernobyl disaster took them. The world lost two of its brightest minds, and you lost your mom and dad. I wonder if this is based on the true story. I mean, <laughs> the character is not necessarily the catastrophe. <laughs> you 
You joined the Bureau shortly after they died, Olena. Such a tragedy that they never got to see you become the successful agent you are today. Agent? Olena Ponomarenko, gifted daughter of the brilliant scientists who discovered the principles of time travel. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, as they say. You're almost at the end of the road, Olena. Perhaps this last assignment will help you finally come to terms with this tragedy. Okay, well, that's not true. <laughs> This book. More special effects. It never gets old. Now where is the tape reel? I must have misplaced it. Who's you? Внимание, внимание, уважаемые товарищи, городской совет народных депутатов. Сообщает, что в связи с аварией на Чернобыльской атомной электростанции в городе Крикоти. The Chernobyl disaster changed the world forever in more ways than one. It was the beginning of pretty much everything, really. We managed to keep it a secret for a long time, but it's not enough. Radical action is needed if the Bureau's legacy is to continue unblemished. That's where you come in, Olena. This is going to be the most important mission of your life. Failure is not an option. This is Section Chief Roman Miller. Forgive me for not joining you in person. No problem, sir. Huh? Also, the last slide in the film was very weird because the helicopter kind of Bent it? Is that Chernobyl? Okay, well, it's not like the detail is in a very high fidelity setting. Also, your distance matters to the objects. There is ambience, but... This place is amazing. The Bureau sure knows how to spend the taxpayers' dollars. Where am I going? My apologies, Ponomarenko. I had some pressing matters to attend to. Like they say, the Bureau never sleeps. So they do. Before we start the mission briefing, let's get some formalities out of the way. Understood, sir. State your rank, full name, and badge number for the record, please. New agent in training, Olena Ponomarenko. Badge number 3541902-9129-8100. Welcome to Outpost 11, Agent Ponomarenko. Your superiors speak very highly of you. I'm sure you'll handle your first assignment with aplomb. Log into the TCB system via the pad, and you'll receive the mission briefing. I don't think we had that technology before. Unless this is happening now, so we're gonna be just discovering Chernobyl. <laughs> A time corruptor altering historical events? Sounds serious. And Chernobyl. That's where my parents... died. You're more than capable of taking this on. I'll be guiding you every step of the way. That said, 
I understand completely if you don't feel ready to face this. It could be a lot for you to handle, Olena. Absolutely not, sir. I'm prepared to face my fears. That's what I wanted to hear, Ponomarenko. So, how do I find this time corruptor? I'll explain in a moment. First, we need to go over the functionality of your equipment. I need to be sure you're up to speed. Take the wristwatch we prepared for you. It's a Quantum Pulse MK2, a state-of-the-art device. It allows the Bureau to track our agents and communicate with them at all times, even across space-time, so make sure not to lose it. In a briefcase? Well, there are a couple. Did she say where? So this video is kind of low quality, but I mean, it's a historical one. The devs won't do anything about that. Now hold the watch dial to bring up the main screen. The function called Whispers tracks every phase of the assigned mission. If you ever get confused about your objective, you can always check here. Please review the details of your current mission now. Honestly, it's kind of intriguing. I would just need to see how the outside looks. Oh, come on. There's a lot of collectibles to get. This tech looks incredible. What can I say? The Bureau provides only the best for its agents. Do I still need my ID? Can't get anywhere in this lab. The sound is a bit harsh, but matter of adjustment. Well, this doesn't work. <laughs> the hell? I'm assuming all this is important. <laughs> Syringes. It's a good system. Not sure where I am though. <laughs> Oof. 
where did I go down? I feel like some kind of physics would be also appreciated in those types of experiences. Now please pay close attention to this round, moving shape. It's called a memory. As you may recall from your training, a memory forms when someone is manipulating space-time. You'll no doubt encounter a lot of them while pursuing the time corruptor. Gather everyone you come across. Your watch is capable of storing them and reading their content. Grab the memory and throw it into the watch dial. To review stored information, choose the memory option. Seems like it will be very useful. Take the key from inventory. The radioactive cloud formed by the reactor explosion and re Okay, we'll see. Uh the key. Okay. On to the next phase of your preparation. Find the metal closet and use the key to open it. Retrieve the green ampule and a small cassette, then add the items to your inventory. You should know how to do this. Those might actually be through these scans. Problem is that the quest free downgrade is rather harsh. It's not as terrible. But still, if I would continue this, it would be probably on the PC VR side of things. Now return to the desk and release the suitcase from the safety lock. A suitcase? Yeah, there are some texture change, so... Here you are, my precious. Now place the suitcase on the desk and open it. Maybe it is photogrammetry, who knows? What the heck? Go get the suitcase, Agent Ponomarenko. Take out the ampule and place it in the opening. The substance is called Chernobylite, a radioactive material that powers the time travel device. Handle with extreme care. Where's the hole? Now pump the Chernobylite into the chrono case. Turn the crank to start producing energy from the Chernobylite, which the suitcase needs to perform the jump into space-time. Charge it fully. The cassette you retrieved from the closet contains the coordinates for the time travel device. Just place it in the correct slot. It reminds me of Wanderer. I never played, and it's still coming to the quiz platform. But the premise might be very similar. All right, it's time to set the proper date on the chrono case. April 26th, 1986. He said 1926. Okay, so it still was my parents' generation. Use the control stick to synchronize the sinusoids, symbolizing the three space time travel dimensions. The visualization panel will assist you. The trick is to make the sine waves blend into one straight line. Looks like you're good to go, Agent Ponomarenko. Let's get this show on the road. Oh, and one last thing. Svetlana and Igor, your mom and dad, 
would be very proud of you. Appreciate it, sir. Time to go. at the power plant, Ponomarenko? The jump was a success. I think I'm somewhere near the control room. Excellent. The afternoon shift is currently rotating out with the evening one. Sneak in and track down the damage caused by the time corruptor. I can't believe someone would deliberately cause a reactor meltdown for their own selfish reasons. It's inhuman. That's why you need to put a stop to it and fast. Now go find the door to the control room. Yeah, I mean, maybe some other time. <laughs> I did not see an outside, which is a bummer, so I need to judge what have happened. Maybe the game is kind of on the lighter side in terms of puzzles, so the appeal is to just go into some locations that are set in the past, which... I advise that you vacate the corridor and find the control room. You don't want to be spotted are very much so and there is some kind of curiosity level going on coming from me maybe because i come from that region of europe that i would like to explore more on quest version i think it's fine i would not treat it as a photogrammetry game by any means were there some 3d scans Maybe, because even the floor is uneven, so... It could get interesting depending on the dynamic later on. I don't think I have many complaints. The inventory system is fine. Maybe the sound effects are a little bit too high. But that's only about the adjustment in the settings. And here in the distance I see some resolution flickering. There is also foveated rendering going on, so... Maybe graphically it could have been a bit better, but if I would want to continue this, which might happen, that would be on the other platform. I find it personally interesting and that's what counts, so we shall see what happens. 